Hello, I'm Trey Zipper with By Memorial Day, where we've made it our mission to clean every veteran headstone in America by Memorial Day. To raise awareness about the condition of our veteran headstones, I'm traveling across the country, randomly stopping at cemeteries in each state to show you what the veteran headstones in your state look like. Today, I'm in Salina, Kansas, during the Civil War known as Bleeding Kansas, and for good reason. I'm in the Gypsum Hill Cemetery in the GAR section. GAR stands for Grand Army of the Republic. All of these veteran graves behind me are of Union soldiers during the Civil War. I'm standing next to the gravesite of Isaac Winchester from Illinois. I hope you'll agree that this is not the way that Isaac's headstone should look. And I hope you'll join me and get out into your local cemeteries. If you're in Kansas, this is in your state. If this is acceptable to you, go on about your business. If it's not acceptable, you're gonna to have to help me do something about it. So I'm gonna take a tour of this section of the cemetery just to show you what they look like. This is the GAR section, the Grand Army of the Republic. These are all Union soldiers from the Civil War. As you look at these headstones of our American heroes, I want you in your mind's eye to imagine Arlington National Cemetery or any national cemetery that you've ever visited and compare what you see here in a municipal cemetery to what we see in our national cemeteries. Notice that the headstones are not perfectly white and clean. Notice that they're not the same height. Notice that they're leaning. Notice that they're fallen. And just ask yourself, can we do better than this? Can we do a better job of taking care of our veteran headstones here in Kansas and in all states in America? This is part of our problem in our society today. We've lost our patriotism. We've lost our respect. We've lost our honor. And we're going to recapture it by cleaning these headstones. I met with the manager of the cemetery here this morning, fantastic gentleman. They do a beautiful job of maintaining the cemetery here, but cleaning headstones is not their responsibility. They don't have the staff, they don't have the budget. But with 45,000 people living here in Salina, Kansas, I see no reason why these headstones should look like this. So share this video if you would. I'll be coming to your state next if I haven't been there already. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna clean a headstone for you this morning. We're gonna get this started here in this cemetery in Bleeding, Kansas. Uh, I found a special headstone over here I think would be appropriate. What do you think about this one? It's not level, it's not plumb, it's not clean, there is no flag. If you're looking for some American heroes, this is one of them. This is Sergeant John Gordon, Company F of the 12th United States Colored Infantry. Got a lot of turmoil going on in our country right now. Let's start with getting this taken care of. We're gonna clean Sergeant Gordon's headstone this morning. I'm gonna set the example for you folks here in Salina, Kansas, and in Kansas in general, and the United States. These are American servicemen. These are heroes of our country. No matter what side they fought on in the Civil War, no matter what war they may have fought in or, or what period of time they served our country, these are our heroes, so let's get started. Let's show some honor and respect to Sergeant Gordon. As you've seen in my other videos, you always have to ask permission before you clean a veteran headstone or any headstone that's not your family members. But uh, obviously, uh, none of the family members of Sergeant Gordon uh, either know that he's here or have taken the time to come here and clean his stone. 
So uh, I'm going to take care of this today, just like I ask you to get out into your local cemeteries and do the same for the heroes in your community. Um, this is, again, uh, Sergeant John Gordon, Company F of the 12th United States Colored Infantry. We've got a lot of issues going on in our country right now, a lot of racial uh, divide. But uh, I believe that one thing we can do to come together as a country and as a people uh, is to get out here and clean these veteran headstones. So you might tell from my accent that uh, I'm a southerner, but uh, it makes no difference to me uh, the color of the skin uh, of the man that wore the uniform uh, for America. So uh, this, again, is something we can all work together toward. It uh, doesn't matter if they're in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, um, they're all uh, servants of America. So let's get started. Um, I've got my cleaning kit over here. First thing we're gonna do is get some of this debris off of here, uh, pick up these sticks around the edges of the, of the grave. A lot of sand uh, just kicks up from the rain. We had some rain here last night, rained pretty heavy. Um, and the, the biological growth on this stone has been here for a long time. It's pretty thick. Uh, there's black algae, there's lichens, there's moss, uh, all different uh, colors of biological growth. And just like we have all colors of Americans, we have many different skin colors in America. Uh, we are a melting pot. One thing we have to start thinking about is who what's your sovereign and you know, what are you what are you loyal to if are you loyal to God are you loyal to your country are you loyal to your state your community your family what is it that you uh, would be willing to die for well this man was willing to die for the United States of America that's pretty significant. So you need to think about that yourself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a, a bath with water just to uh, soften up this biological growth here. And that's one of the things. It's been softening up all night because it, again, rained pretty hard. And I thought I'd get started first thing this morning. Uh, at sunrise but it didn't work out that way but remind you we're in Kansas right now Salina Kansas I want you to get a good look at what this looks like now this is our before I did take some before photos now we're gonna we're gonna give this stone a, a coating of D2 biological solution the secret to these types of cleaning uh, materials is that they have what's called a quaternary ammonium compound as their active ingredient. So what that's gonna do is it's going to attack all of this biological growth, kill it, but uh, do no harm to the natural stone. Believe it or not, this is a white marble uh, monument. No different than what you see at Arlington or any other national cemetery. This stone was provided by the taxpayers, by the federal government, through the uh, Department of Veterans Affairs, through the National Cemetery Administration. It was ordered, it arrived here in Kansas. We don't know the birth year or the death year of this American soldier, uh, but uh, the, you can see that it's leaning. Um, this, this should be perfectly level, perfectly plumb, the appropriate height off the ground, just like in a national cemetery, but we're in a municipal cemetery. So it's different in our private and municipal cemeteries in, in America because there is no budget of the federal government to take care of a national cemetery. These aren't all uh, veterans. It's a very small percentage of the stones in this cemetery that are veteran stones. So uh, that's what By Memorial Day is all about. It's about uh, the communities coming together and getting out into our local cemeteries and remembering these forgotten heroes and and showing the, the respect and giving them the honor that they deserve. So I'm gonna give it a coat of D2 biological solution, and then we're gonna wait about 10, 12 minutes to let it do its uh, work, and then we're going to uh, start the scrubbing process and rinsing with water. And I think you'll be pretty amazed at how this turns out. 
And again, I'm setting the example for Salina, Kansas, and for Kansas as a state that we can't let this stand any longer in these conditions. We've got to get these stones cleaned. Uh, we keep, need to keep flags flying at them all year long. Uh, so let's, let's give it a bath of D2 biological solution. Uh, this is pretty amazing stuff here. It's not inexpensive, but it's, it's really cheap for what it does. I mean, when you see what this stone's gonna look like here in a few minutes, you'll agree that it's not too much to ask, I don't think, that we spend 50 cents to clean a veteran headstone. Just takes a little bit of love, takes a little bit of patriotism. I think we can all find an hour in our year to get out and clean one veteran headstone. So how many veteran headstones are located in private and municipal cemeteries? Well, that's, that's a really good question and nobody knows. Um, they've been shipping out these stones to cemeteries for 141 years and there just is no record. So we're gonna work on identifying all of these stones. We're gonna have a volunteer who raises their hand and says, I've got that one. So I'm gonna clean this stone uh, for John Gordon, but somebody has to raise their hand and say, I live nearby and I'll take care of uh, Sergeant Gordon's headstone in his grave. And I'll keep a flag flying at his grave 365 days a year. I'll spend the 50 cents for the materials to clean his stone and I'll spend four dollars a year to make his grave respectable, to make it shine, um, to stand as a, an example of the cost of freedom for America. This, uh, this was a black man. Um, he uh, was probably born into slavery and somehow ended up in Kansas. Maybe, maybe he was a slave brought to Kansas. Maybe he escaped slavery. We don't know the story yet. Hopefully, if someone knows the story, please share it with us. Uh, hopefully, this is your ancestor. You're watching this video, and you don't know where your uh, great-great-great-grandfather, Sergeant John Gordon, is buried because there's no dates here, but now you know. Here he is, Salina, Kansas. So let's let this sit here work for about uh, 10, 12 minutes. We'll get back to start our scrubbing. Okay, we've let the D2 biological solution work for 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, we've kept the stone moist uh, with a mist of water. Uh, we don't want to let it dry while it's working. So it's time to make the transformation of this stone and turn it back into what it should look like always. So let's get going here. We'll get our, we've got some water here, got our bathtub scrub brush, got these relatively soft bristles. You never use any bleach, you never use any pressure washers, you never use any uh, metal brushes of any kind. So I, I like to start at the top. Uh, some people prefer the, the bottom. But it'll, it'll take a while to get this stone clean because there is years uh, of growth on this stone. I may need to use a, I don't think I have it here with me. I don't have my, my wooden dowel, but it would come in really handy about now to scrape some of this heavy growth off, but it still comes off when you I'll just have to scrub a little bit more. Now I can tell you from looking at the top here, this is a white marble headstone. It's hard to tell with all this growth on it.
Another thing is this stuff splatters, so you're gonna you're gonna get this stuff on you if you don't stand back a little bit. So if you notice how I'm standing, try to keep it off my my clothes. So Kansas, wow. Yeah, Kansas has quite the history. So it's fitting that we're cleaning the headstone of a black soldier from the Civil War. All right, so the top looking pretty good. So let's get on to the face of this stone here. Probably gonna take longer than I had anticipated, but we'll see. You never know what you're gonna find when you get out to your local cemetery and uh, start looking at these veteran graves. So I had no idea that I was gonna find United States colored infantry soldiers here. But it's interesting to pay attention and realize these are all Union soldiers. Doesn't matter if they're black or white or what uh, background they have or how you wanna uh, separate them. They're buried together here here in Kansas. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see how bad that is, but wow. Almost looks like ground up oatmeal coming off of there. I mean, look at that going down that stone. All right, so I'm just gonna tell it like it is. There's 330 million Americans. Why hasn't anyone thought about coming out here and cleaning Sergeant John Gordon's headstone? Good question, huh? I mean, what a beautiful piece of marble we have. I mean, you can see the, you can see the, uh, the different uh, veins of color going through this natural marble. Um, and now we're going to talk about race in America today. It's, it's 2020. We got COVID-19 raging. We've got Black Lives Matters. We've got people protesting. We've got people looting. We got all kinds of things going on in our country. But I find it interesting that Sergeant Gordon's headstone looks like this. <clears throat> so population is about 13% uh, black <coughs> in America today. <clears throat> so if you take 330, we got about 40 million people that would consider themselves as black in America. So I want you to Stop for a moment and think about this. This is, this is a, this is a man who probably endured slavery, and he was willing to risk his life to pick up a rifle and to join the Union cause of keeping the country together back in 1861 to 1865, and. I'm a Navy veteran, my family goes back in America to the early 1600s. We fought in every war. And wow, Sergeant JNO, that's an abbreviation for John, uh, period Gordon. So now we can see uh, this. Uh, lettering very clearly now that we've gotten some of that. I mean, still look at all this stuff down here. I'm going to grab a bottle and rinse it a little bit.
So we're kind of lost in America right now. Um, I can assure you that Sergeant John Gordon did not kneel before the flag. He risked his life under that flag. We're going to research him after we get out of the cemetery here because, again, I didn't know what I was going to find. But there's five more United States Colored Infantry uh, graves right behind me. So he's not the only one of uh, African-American descent buried here in Saline, Kansas. Salina, Salina, Kansas. That's not right. I mean, look, look at that. So, I hope you'll help me. I hope you'll help me get out here and clean all of these. If you are an African American, a black person, I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but that's the terminology that we've been hearing uh, lately. So, I say you got a lot of uh, heroes in America, so let's find them all and let's, let's honor them by getting these stones clean, by remembering them. I hope we can find his family because he doesn't have a birth year or a birth date. I'm hoping that his family watches this video and can uh, reconnect with him. One thing I do is I study, uh, wow, quite a, quite a difference from when we started. Um, I study the units that these soldiers were in to follow what, uh, what their enlistment time periods were, uh, where they served uh, during the Civil War, uh, what battles they may have been involved in, and I find that to be a huge part of this whole effort to clean these stones is when you remember, you see what these men actually did and the horrors that they experienced. Not all of them were in combat. You know, some of them were uh, stationed at different places uh, that, that did not experience combat, but you don't have to experience combat as an American military person to have uh, served your country. All veterans write that blank check that they're willing to sacrifice everything up to and including their lives for the defense of our country, for our freedoms that we enjoy. I've learned a lot about history by getting out here and cleaning these stones. I hope you'll do the same and you might have a different perspective of America. We have no idea today what these people endured in their time period. I mean, there were no cars, there were no roads, uh, they had you know wagons, wagon trails. Um, Kansas, wow. We are way out west here. I mean, this was a... There's your after so far. I mean, I'm going to hit it with a, uh, with a toothbrush. Um, and I'm going to get the rest of the stone clean. But for time constraint, I'm just going to show you the front here. You got a toothbrush, just your typical... Uh, medium toothbrush and this stone's looking really good but it's going to look even better about uh, four, four to five weeks from now because all the little microscopic uh, biological growth that was adhered to this stone these stones are porous so you can't see it with your eye, but there are microscopic holes that water actually perks through these marble stones. And that biological growth is rooted in there. 
So that uh, D2 biological solution, that quaternary ammonium compound, is going to work on that. And it's going to kill it and it's going to come off. Now you can see this uh, 12USCI, United States Colored Infantry. You may have watched the movie Glory. If you haven't, then I encourage you to do so. And you can see it now this finer uh, toothbrush is getting into these crevices a little bit better than the bathtub scrub brush. So when I when I spray this, you can see the the brown, black, green material coming off. Tell you what, if I was related to Sergeant John Gordon, I'd be dadgum proud. We need pride in America. We need, we need people to uh, acknowledge their ancestors and the sacrifices they made. I don't think the sacrifice gets any more honorable than this man so find out if he is uh, related to you and wow huge contrast between uh, what we started with and what we see now so I'm going to pause here I'm going to clean the rest of the stone we'll come back So we've completed the cleaning process for the headstone of Sergeant John Gordon, Company F of the 12th United States Colored Infantry, Civil War Union soldier. It's not perfect, but it is a night and day difference between uh, the way we found it a few minutes ago and what it looks like today. Uh, and that uh, cleaning solution will continue to work on this stone. It'll become brighter and brighter, and hopefully uh, in the next few weeks it'll it'll look as if it belongs in Arlington, which it should. Um, you can see that I have hundreds of veteran headstones here in Salina, Kansas, uh, in Gypsum Hill Cemetery that need uh, this level of care. So I hope you'll join me, get out here and, and honor one or more of these veterans. Uh, the last thing that we do is we, we place uh, an American flag uh, at the veteran's grave and the idea is that someone will raise their hand and say I've got Sergeant Gordon I will check on his stone on a regular basis I will fly the American flag 24 hours a day 365 days a year when that American flag becomes worn tattered faded broken I will replace it with a new one um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a flag here today I'm going to leave a couple of flags with the cemetery staff so they can replace this and I hope that you will uh, be the one that will carry the torch forward for this particular veteran. So one of the things I do is uh, I, I use a zip tie and I place the zip tie about four or five inches 
from the bottom of the flag stick like that and then I take a pair of scissors and I cut it off give it maybe an inch of a tag and that way when we put it in the PVC flag holder it has something that keeps it at the right height so now I got my flag now I'm gonna put this in the ground and there you have it hope you'll join me go to buymemorialday.com that's our website uh, like us on Facebook our Facebook page is by Memorial Day uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and you'll get all of my videos going forward I'm Trey Zipper let's get every veteran headstone in America clean by Memorial Day